What's up guys, it's the Deal Dork out on the golf course. There's nothing that has improved my game more than a rangefinder to getting the yardages. Now, this old trusty faithful Nikon has finally died on me after about 10 years. So I uh, got a budget-minded one that works just as good, if not better, with a lot more features. Stick around, I'm going to tell you about it next. So if you know anything about golf, you know that yardages are very important, or if you're in Europe, meters are very important. Um, but how do you know how far you hit a club? Usually over time, you sort of develop sort of a feel for it. Many golfers don't really know. Uh, a lot of people base it off their seven iron or their pitching wedge. But if you know, for example, that you hit your seven iron 170 yards, well, how do you know when you have to hit that club? You can look at a spr sprinkler head uh, or look for a white stake that's somewhere off in the woods and sort of guess and eyeball it. Uh, but really, that's not a good way to know how far you are from the stick. So the best way to find the distance is by using a range finder, unless you have yourself a caddy that you have uh, that you can pay six figures a year to go on tour with you and measure and walk off everything and have a book. Most people can't do that, and most people aren't good enough to use a caddy like that. So a rangefinder is even better, in my opinion, than a GPS or one of those uh, GPS watches because the rangefinder gets your distance to the pin. If you're on a fancy course that has the pin programmed in in the golf cart and you drive up to the ball, yes, that would serve the same purpose, but nothing really gets you down to the, well, tenth of a yard like a rangefinder would. I've had this thing for about 10 years. It's an old uh, Nikon uh, Callaway teamed up on this uh, to make this, and it's been great. It's nothing fancy. It has a pin seeker, uh, but it's finally died on me, stopped working. Um, the scope works, but uh, the rest doesn't. So needed a replacement, didn't want to spend a lot of money. I looked out. This thing cost about $350 back in the day. And then I found Go Sport, I'm sorry, Woe Sports came out with um, pretty... Uh, nifty little unit, a laser rangefinder. Laser is the key because it's much more accurate uh, to get out there, and uh, has pin seeking technology. And the the one key here that I was looking for is the slope, so it'll kind of measure the slope up and down, right? Um, so you kind of have a yardage adjustment based on how high or low uh, the pin is above your feet or below. So. A lot of technology here in this little thing, but how did it work? So it's winter up here in the Northeast, so there's no golf going on, but I was able to go outside. I have a, a practice flag out in my yard. I, I pinned it down. And then I ran around the neighborhood shooting at it, and it found the pin every time very easy. I also was pinpointing trees and uh, with similar colored background, and it was so easy to lo lock onto a tree or anything else that I really wanted to go to. One thing I like about this is that it gives you haptic feedback. It vibrates every time it locks onto the target. So you don't have to assume when it's done measuring by looking at the yardage through the scope. You just know because the haptic feedback is provided and you're done with it. So um, overall, just a sleek little unit here. Comes with everything you need. Uh, it's got the, you know, the belt. Um, it, this sort of belt loop thing here. Now, I'm not one that's gonna loop this onto my belt here and golf with this thing here. I like to clip it onto my golf bag like I have historically over here, just kind of clip it there. So what I'm gonna do is take the carabiner off here and then just clip it on here so I can get the same effect. So I like to use it in between shots like that. The other thing that's gonna happen once you start knowing what the distances are and selecting the right clubs are is you're really going to start knowing, you don't have to keep a spreadsheet like I did, but you're going to start knowing exactly what distance, say, you hit a 5-iron, right? And then you're going to know over time, do I need to hit a full 5-iron? Is it an 80% 5-iron? What type do I have to hit here? And it's going to improve your game leaps and bounds over buying a new putter. As you can see, these clubs that I have are like 10 or 15 years old, but I love them, um, but really... These clubs, when I bought them, didn't improve my game anywhere near what uh, this particular device did because knowing the yardage is so critical. Now, of course, learning how to putt will help your game uh, better than, than anything out there, but if, as far as a device, um, 
a range finder or even a GPS uh, will improve your game more than anything in my opinion. Um, as, as far as if you're looking for a quick fix, right? Not putting in the hard work of, you know, golf lessons and things like that. I'm talking about a quick fix device. This thing is going to improve your game more than anything. And this specifically goes for about $105 in Amazon. And really, that's cheaper than any other club in my bag here. And uh, it's just so important to have one. And how so, so many of my friends go I golf with rely on me now to get the distance for them to the pin and it's like well why don't you have one too not that I don't mind but it's amazing to me how many people don't care about distances when golf is all about distances it's a mental game about the math and the distances so so critical to know how far you need to hit the ball before you select the club and then how hard you need to hit the club once you have it and then once you start learning how to use the distances and things like that you'll find that your game will drastically improve without any hard work at all just by knowing what clubs you hit. So uh, speaking of things that help your game uh, I want to talk about our sponsor Rocket Sports who's been gracious enough to sponsor our channel. Uh, they do have great products like nets, uh, golf nets and also this golf mat here is, is Rocket Sports and I've had this for two years now and I've hit thousands of balls off of it. You can see we have the fairway, um, the rough, and then uh, sort of the, the first cut over here, which you can actually stick a golf tee in. And uh, I was just gonna see if I had a golf tee available, but I don't. You can stick a golf tee right in it and uh, tee it up just as you would on the tee box, which is just fantastic. And they're durable and they last. So Rocket Sports, go ahead, check them out. There's a link below for 15% off anything in their store for do Deal Dork viewers. Check it out. And then if you have any questions about this product or the Rocket Sports products, please hit me up in the comments or send me an email. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. So thanks for watching. Would love for you to subscribe. Come on back soon. Have a lot more products coming your way. Thanks so much.